Welcome to Bow Diesel Magazine's top stories for mid-May. I'm your host, Jacob Noterman. Before we get started, we'd like to thank today's sponsor, Bow Diesel Magazine's webinar titled, New Advances in Detection Technology for Biodiesel Impurities. Taking place May 22nd, this webinar will examine different detection analysis techniques and identify which is suitable for specific applications. Performance data will also be shown to illustrate the benefits. To register for this free webinar, click on the Events tab at the top of Biodiesel Magazine's homepage. The Advanced Biofuels Association has submitted a petition with the U.S. Court of Appeals to sue EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt, challenging the agency's process for granting exemptions from compliance under the Renewable Fuel Standard. The number of refinery exemptions granted in the past two years have doubled to historic heights, and biofuel stakeholders are concerned that Prude is granting these exemptions arbitrarily and capriciously with no accountability. The petition notes the agency has refused to provide basic information about the refineries that receive the exemptions or EPA's rationale for granting individual exemptions. The latest in a series of politicized high-level meetings over the renewable fuel standard took place May 8th at the White House, where it appears Senator Ted Cruz's scheme to cap prices on renewable identification numbers has been declared dead, while year-round E15 sales will move forward. The Iowa Renewable Fuels Association said at the meeting Cruz floated the idea of allowing exported gallons of ethanol to count toward domestic RFS blending requirements. There was no agreement on this export scheme, according to the IRFA. Iowa's legislature voted to include $3 million to fund the Iowa Renewable Fuels Infrastructure Program for another year. The program provides retailers cost-share dollars to install blender pumps and other equipment to offer higher blends of ethanol and biodiesel. Reimbursement can be up to 70% of the installation costs, up to a maximum of $50,000 per project, with a five-year commitment to sell the biofuel blends. Hero BX cut the ribbon early this month at its new research and development laboratory at Knowledge Park on the Erie campus of Penn State Behrend. The laboratory advances the company's efforts to diversify and develop biodiesel products for new markets while utilizing the skills of Penn State Behrend students in industry-driven research. One of the lab's first initiatives will be to realize a way to reduce the sulfur content of biodiesel feedstocks. Subsequent studies will focus on increasing the efficiency of biodiesel in cold temperature applications, such as the airline industry. The National Biodiesel Foundation awarded the first Beth Calabata Sustainable Education Grant to doctoral student Mary-Kate Mitchell. The $2,000 award is for Mitchell to participate in the Biodiesel Sustainability Workshop in St. Louis, Missouri on September 27th, with the remaining funds applied toward academics. Mitchell is currently studying chemical and environmental engineering at Yale University. She presented at the 2018 National Biodiesel Conference and is a member of the Next Generation Scientists for Biodiesel. To view these stories in their entirety or for more news, features, or data from the most respected and viewed biodiesel site in the world, visit biodieselmagazine.com. See you next time.